For first responders, no two cardiac emergency calls are ever the same. Each location, each patient, each event is unique. So it's critical that first responders have consistent, repeatable, hands-on training that prepares them for any cardiac situation. But delivering that can be a challenge. So for our current ACLS class, I have to have 20 paramedics offline to come in, pay them overtime. I have to have four instructors for that entire day for eight hours. That costs a lot of money and that's a lot of labor. There's a more efficient, cost-effective way to train. Enter virtual reality. Health Scholars designed and developed first responder ACLS VR training in partnership with EMS agencies. It delivers fully immersive, repeatable ACLS simulation training that can be done whenever, wherever, and however often it's needed. So your staff doesn't have to come in on their days off and you don't have to pay overtime or spend time resourcing or orchestrating expensive training days. And with Health Scholars VR Ready Simulation Management software, you can schedule, administer, and track learner progress all in one simple dashboard. When your staff trains, they each take on the role of the team lead and use state-of-the-art voice recognition technology to direct a virtual EMS team. The simulation immerses them in an in-home scenario with common real-life distractions. Aaron, turn on the lights. They must manage stable, unstable, and cardiac arrest scenarios, identify different cardiac rhythms, and direct their EMS team to shock, perform CPR. All right, team, it looks like we've got V-fib. Andre, start compressions. And administer meds. Aaron, let's give one milligram of epinephrine. Giving one milligram of epinephrine IV. The simulation reinforces team management communication skills, tests situational awareness of team member fatigue. All right, Andre, it's been two minutes. Maria, take over compressions. Task performance, code management principles, and practices hospital notification protocols. Okay, let them know they've got a STEMI coming at them. Learners get a debrief on failed rhythm identification and on general code management principles needing improvement. And you can use the SIM management platform to easily analyze results, identify readiness, and learning gaps across an entire organization, specific station, or an individual learner. Virtual reality simulation has the ability to help us overcome our geographical challenges. For muscle memory, it's important that we actually do the act and that's hard to do. Sometimes you only have three people in your training class. This is an exciting new way of learning. Train effectively, train often, save lives. First responder ACLS VR training from Health Scholars.